Hey guys, so in the last video I showed you how to customize your inquiry form and how to embed that into your website. So right now I'm actually going to go in a little bit further and show you how to customize your inquiry form by using custom fields um, in case you are a person that maybe shoots multiple event types and event type is a certain genre that you shoot. So say for instance if you shoot weddings and maternities and babies, you might not want to ask them the same questions for all those different things or you want to maybe add on specific questions that you would ask a maternity session rather than say a wedding. Um, so I'm going to show you how to add those custom fields so that way they show up on your inquiry form. So if you remember from the last video, when you click on the link, it basically will show you a sample of what your client will see when they come to your inquiry form. And under this drop down box, it shows you all the event types that they have under your brand. Um, so for instance, under wedding, it's going to ask them certain things like this ceremony location, um, are you suave? This is a cute one that they added on. This is a custom field. This is based off of them choosing this certain event type. So let's go back and I'll show you a different event type here. So say maturity, and same date. Okay, you see how some of those fields that was under the wedding actually disappeared. Um, so this is what I talk about custom fields. There's certain things that you might want to ask a wedding client that you probably don't want to ask a maternity client. Um, so I'll show you where you can actually add those custom fields on your inquiry form. So if you go back to your main module, you want to go to things to do and go under events. Okay. Okay. And here is where you'll be able to customize certain things for your events. Um, so under event types is where you'll be able to add an event type. I can link that video below too if you want to go look at that video on how to add an event type. Uh, so that way you can reference that before coming back to this video if you want. Um, but this is the field right here, the custom fields is where I really want to show you. So clicking on custom fields, um, now you can click on basically the event type that you want to work on. So see under wedding, um, you see how it asks for the ceremony location and reset location. Um, and then you just click here and go to actions and add, oh, I'm sorry, click, click here and add custom fields. And that way now you can start adding certain things. So you can even do multiple choice stuff if you wanted, multiple choice. No. How cool are you? I'm gonna do a combo box or you know radio button or whatever. And then you press save. Okay. So now this should populate onto your inquiry form based off of the wedding. If you want to customize an event type that shows up on all of the stuff, you can definitely do that here. Um, and then of course you, know, you can do it based on maternity as well. Um, and then once you set this up and you press save, you can go back to your inquiry form and it should automatically show up on based on the event type that they choose. So hopefully that helps you and gives you a better understanding of how to set up custom fields based on your event type. Um, as always, subscribe to this channel to keep more tips and tricks. And if you haven't signed up for Pixabay yet, I encourage you to try it out. Talk to you next time. Bye.